Well, as it does every year, the Shaw Festival is bringing boxing to downtown Toronto. And this year, we have quite a treat. We have one of the best featherweights in Canada taking on a former world title challenger who is back in the ring. And he's here with us here at Fight Network, Oliver Launchy. Oliver, great to see you back in the ring finally. Nice to see you too. So tell us, why has there been such an extended layoff for you? We haven't seen you in the ring since 2010. Uh, what have been some of the reasons for you not being in the ring since then? Um, when uh, I fought uh, in the U.S. the last time, I was injured. So after that, I decided to take off, and uh, I lose the motivation. But uh, by going back with uh, my old trainer, I found out like you know I can still fight, and that's the reason why I'm back. Was there a time when you thought you wouldn't come back to boxing at all, and you yeah, thought you just yeah, away? exactly. I wanted to stop, uh, like. I can say years ago, I really wanted to stop. Now, a, a lot of people would uh, would remember you, obviously, from the uh, the Mikey Garcia fight, but also from uh, your fight against Juan Manuel Lopez. Now, what was it like, you know, putting aside how everything turned out? But what was it like being the headliner for a pay per view and having the the whole promotion based around you and Juanma? What was that like? It's it's amazing because you know, for many years you walk and you just like. I might have a chance to fight those guys. And when it actually happened, you just, you just don't believe it. But I, I enjoy any moment. Uh, when I went to fight uh, Yuama and uh, Garcia, I really enjoyed Of course, I didn't win the fight. The fight didn't go the way I wanted, but uh, I enjoyed the moment. So there, there are obviously no regrets. You know, I know no, a lot no, of people no, said, no, hey, no, I don't regret. I don't regret any decision I take. I, I don't want to live with the regret. So I just don't, I don't think about it. Now, I remember uh, leading up to the, uh, the Wanma fight as well, uh, I read an interview with you and you said that before that you had maybe fought one southpaw in your entire life back in the amateurs when you were about 112 pounds, is that true? Yeah, uh, only one time I fought the southpaw and I really don't like southpaw. It's just, I don't know, I don't feel very comfortable fighting them. And, uh, but uh, in, in the industry of boxing you have to be able to, to fight the southpaw if the occasion come, you know, and to, tomorrow night, that's what I'm going to do. I was going to say, it's just funny <laughs> you bring that up because tomorrow night you're going to be facing uh, a very talented southpaw in, uh, in Tyler Asselstein. Uh, what do you know about Tyler? I know that you don't like watching film too much. Exactly. I watched his fight against uh, Ba. Uh, I watched Copa Run. I didn't watch all the fight, but he's a good fighter. I mean, uh, the reason why I took this fight is because the, the guy can fight and I just want to come back with a good fighter and you know that's actually will tell me if I'm ready to go back in the game. From those few rounds uh, that you did watch of that fight against Baha Laham and especially given that your corner Howard and Otis Grant they cornered Baha wow. Laham they know all about Tyler Rasselstein what do you see in him that you think you can expose maybe tomorrow night? I, tomorrow night, I'm just going to keep the basic boxing, you know, left, right. I don't want to complicate my boxing. Just going to be very simple, do simple combination. He's, like I say, he's a good fighter. And uh, what I see, like, his uh, witness, if you want, it's the fact like he put his down, hand down. So I'm just going to try to capitalize on that. Every time when he's not going to have his hand up, I try to punch. So would you say that this fight at tomorrow night in Toronto, you, would you say this is make or break for you? If you don't win, could this be the last time? Oh, no, 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 no. I, for one year ago, I think about uh, stopping, but now I'm back and it uh, doesn't matter what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to continue my career. I'm just 29 years old. I mean, I still have at least four years from me before I decide to retire. So no, uh, but I'm, I win tomorrow night. I have no doubt. Well, outside of the ring, I know you were doing some uh, some really interesting work as well. I know you're working uh, the, with with kids. Uh, with kids, and uh, you're working uh, with some high schools and whatnot. Tell us about some of the work that you do in the gym on outside of your boxing career. Uh, I, I've been working with uh, this gym. It's a, a club espoir for over seven years now. Uh, I was the first trainer there. It's the program was made by police, and uh, just to help kids like after school them can come to the gym and train and doesn't stay in the street. So what I do is every day I go the Monday to Friday, four to seven, you know, teach them boxing. But I also talk with them, you know, like try to teach them the basic thing in life. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was it a similar program like that that got you into boxing in the first place? I no. know some of your friends did karate and you chose boxing. Yeah, in my country, no, we don't have those kind of program. Uh, I wish we have. Maybe one day I will go back and set that kind of program, but the uh, kids doesn't have that in Cameroon. I know for, for a little while you were working uh, as a security guard as well. Do you ever yeah. have people come up to you and, and think, ah, oh, he's 122 pounds? Oh, yeah, every, it, no? every day, every day. I mean, like, uh, you, you know, right now I still work uh, like, a, like a security agent. And uh, no, last week one guy came to me and he's like, okay, imagine this, a big guy like me, it's a, what, maybe 240 pounds, and he's like, big guy like me, come and make trouble. What you going to do? I'm like, uh, but why you will make trouble? <laughs> I'm too small. Why, why you want to fight with me? So most of the time, no, I just try to talk, and it always works. Well, we're looking forward to, to seeing you in the ring, you know, doing it the real way tomorrow yeah, night. Th thank you so much. <laughs> Headline the Shot Festival, former world title challenger Oliver Launchy on the comeback trail. He's in action tomorrow night in Toronto, Ontario.